and both both teams are hitting closer to the, 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 the high 200s. Instead, they're about 100 points off their, their, their normal season average. That's mostly because both teams are playing great defense. Look at those digs, 33 for Hawaii and 29 for Irvine. Ali Longo is 16 of Hawaii's 33 digs. But look at the service aces to errors ratio. Hawaii with seven aces on the night. We expected that Irvine be the number one ace leader in the conference, that they would be the ones with seven aces, not Hawaii. That's true. Uh, Hawaii, all of a sudden, it, it seems like they found another gear. When they, they really, found the other gear, they all of a sudden became very good again. I agree with what Ryan said. He said that Hawaii reversed things on Irvine in, in regards to the serving category. Irvine was serving tough early on and captured the lead in the first game. And all of a sudden, it was almost like Dave Shoji called one of the timeouts and said, okay, guys, it's time for us to serve tough. It's our home turf. We, uh, we ought to be serving tough in this gym. And next thing you know, Ali Longo runs off 10. You know, I'm, you notice I'm looking way up at the Where top. Where are you looking? Where are you looking? Because one of the great fans is here tonight, Madeline Lee. She is 99 years old. She has been at every Rainbow game since 1994. Wow. She was up and dancing tonight. And she is really a terrific fan. And, and, that and envelope they said, is, a, is a prize she won. Yes, there a prize, she is, yes. been, She heard and, you talking about her. And the thing is that they they get offered her, would well, you want to have seats closer to No, nope. she climbs up there every single <laughs> game. So <laughs> aloha and best wishes to Madeline Lee and her family. Fantastic. We begin the third set. Serving is Davis. And hitting the antenna that time, not a good shot at all by Nikki Taylor. Well, Dave showed you he's got Ty Manu Oliveau back in the game. Ashley Castle, although she passed well, did not hit well. She's had two errors and seven tries. That looked like a very odd serve. Well, that they're, time trying, by Davis. they're trying really hard to get it to, to Ty Manu Oliveau, who came out of you know the the, uh, the first set at the end there, and so. Uh, you know, I really think they're trying to they're trying to pick on her a little bit, maybe. Longo in her traffic cone uniform, serving. And that ball is hit and will be returned. Olivao Uyato. Taylor. Taylor tried an avoidance hit that time and went over the block and then out. So it's 2-1 Irvine in the third. Hawaii trying for a sweep. And that's set by Uyato. Not her best of the night. Squire serving. Service error. I really think that the Irvine servers are really pressing to get the ball right to spots, right picking on either Hartong or Olivao or wherever their target is, and they're pressing too much. Olivao serving into the net. Talk about pressing too much. That might be a little bit of a short arm there. Allison Lee. Let's Welcome they, back to serve. Let's see if they pick on Nikki Taylor right here. Nikki Taylor normally does not pass at all. Goes to Longo, Uyato. Emily Hartong, and they were up and waiting for her. Boy, how many times have we seen that? It's set a little bit inside, a little predictable. Blockers out there waiting for Emily Hartong. Shannon Fleming, great block. Serving this lead, four serving, two. Uyato turns, gives it to Forster. That's blocked right back. Longo is there. Longo feeds Emily Hartong. That's in the air by Allison. Coming down the middle is Squires, and Squires gets it down in front of the triple block. Oh. It rolls down the front of Taylor's uniform. Forster was there, but ineffective. 5-2 in favor of Irvine in the third set. Hawaii leads two sets to none. Lee will serve. Allison Lee for Irvine. Coming in to the game for Hawaii, Sarah Mendoza into the back row. Also in the back row is Longo and Taylor. Pick up by Longo, overpass, put down, unable to get to it from the back row that time was Taylor. Of all people, Longo makes the overpass. Irvine's trying desperately to serve it to either Mendoza or Taylor. 
six serving two. That ball is long. Right by Longo. So three serving six. Nikki Taylor goes back to serve. Taylor had 10 kills on that October 5th match in Irvine. Gets it over. And that's a good play by Anderson, but they cannot get a conduit back to the net. The ball was mishit by Pickerel. So Hawaii closes to within two. Four serving six. And the freshman out of Kaiser High School. Nikki Taylor serving again. Floats it over. A ball dug up by Davis. Anderson. A ball is hit over that time. By Pickerel. Goes to Emily Hartung. That's dug up by Squires. And it could be a double hit. It is. So Hawaii now trails by one in the third set. Front row. Emily Hartung. Vorster is there along with Uiato. Taylor continues to serve right into the net that time. Seemed to hit it with the bottom of her hand. And Hawaii goes back to a two point deficit. And serving will be Fleming. Nikki Taylor staying in the back row right now. Maybe a possible back row attacker here. Hitting on the right side. Hitting the D ball. We'll see. Receiving Longo. Uyato Taylor from behind the three meter line that's dug up by Squire. The ball is just pushed over, punched by Uyato, goes to Mendoza, and a double hit is called on Hawaii. So it is 8 5. Hawaii now down by six. Fleming serves it again. That ball goes over the net and right behind Forster, who wasn't even looking at it. Forster had turned too quickly toward the inside. That ball went right behind her. It did tickle the twine or the net. Nine serving five. The ball hits hit right into the net. If I'm not mistaken, that's the fourth service error in this set alone. Hawaii's earned six points, but four of them have been by Irvine service errors. So Forster gets a talking to by head coach Dave Shoji. Billy Polly serving. Anderson ball hit over by Mance. There's Taylor. Ball's hit off the block but will be returned by Hartung. Taylor behind the three meter line again, this time long. So why are you having trouble now? Forced to getting ready. No, I think she's just one of those representatives. How they change, which I don't know. I'd like to know who thought that up. That you're in the game, then you're out of the game, and then you're almost in the game, but you're out of the game. That's because Libero has free substitution. They can win out whenever they want. I knew there was a reason. There's five of Hawaii's points. Hawaii seven points earned by Irvine for them. In the last set, neither team hit very well. Irvine hit 031. Hawaii hit 077. Says a lot about the defenses and not much about the two offenses tonight. Artan serving. The ball took up by Davis. There's Longo Uyato. Uyato sets. Alibao and Alibao, no, excuse me, Tua, Tua Ninga was just coming into the game. Tua Ninga was just appeared on the court. She hits it long. 11 7 in favor of Irvine. Serving this pickle. Chased down on a bad pass. Ball comes over by Olivao. That's a diving dig by Taylor. Ball comes over. Big advantage now for big advantage for the Anteaters. And coming across, did they get that in? Jet violation by 
Manu Olival. So now it's 12-7, and Hawaii trails by five, and they are rapidly disappearing into the dust. Pickerel serves down the line and out. Thank you. Hawaii goes, thank you. We need that point. Luckily, Irvine, you know, has been decent offensively this set. They've, they've needed to be because they've served six balls into the net. Oyato serving. That ball is blocked. Good solo block that time by Taylor. Lee tries it again, blocked again. This time, Olibao helping out Taylor. Ball comes over, blocked again. Blocked again. And now they finally say, now nah, that's four hits. Boy, they just hammered and hammered and hammered away. And Hawaii would not give an inch, especially Taylor. Olibao came over to help. Taylor, pretty good out there on the right side. She's become a very good right side blocker at 6'4", long arms. Puts up a nice block. Uyato serves it long. Troubles continue for Hawaii here in the third set. They lead two sets to none. Davis to serve. Taylor. Taylor just bombed that one. Blistered that one. That went off no wood. If she gets the right set, the right swing, she could be unstoppable. Let's take a look at that Poncho Solar power play of the match right there. Yeah, she's hitting twice in the left tonight. She normally hits twice right. I think she likes it on the left side. Longo serving and blocking is Forster. Taylor may have had a piece of it in the double block. So it's now 13-11. Hawaii has closed to within two. And serving is Longo. Remember that name, Longo. She has played a big part in this match so far. Gets it across, knuckleballs it over. They go to Lee. Lee hits it in. Hawaii had very little opposition up for that one. Well, that's Lee's favorite shot, that line shot. I'm surprised that the uh, wide block doesn't move out a little bit toward the antenna and block that line shot. Serving the Squires, that's base that went down in front of Longo. So it's 15 to 11. Irvine continues to hold off Hawaii. They were trying to, Squires was trying to serve uh, Harton, I think, and she just missed it. Longo, Oyato, Harton comes down the middle and rips it. That one off Squires in the back row. And it's 15-12. Hawaii nuzzles up again. Harton only has one blocker up there up front. She can really unload on that pipe set. Mendoza comes in and she will serve for Hawaii. Mendoza gets it over. That ball received by Nabut. And hitting the antenna is Lee. Second time that Lee has hit the antenna in this match. That's set a little wide for Lee. She's the one who had the big match against Long Beach State last week. She averages two kills a set. She's the fourth leading attacker. Serving again is Mendoza. Ball is just touched. Just touched at that time by Fleming. And it rolled over, floated to the earth. Gently as you please. 16, 13, Irvine. Lee getting ready to serve again for Irvine, the Anteaters. That's received by Mendoza. Outside the Taylor. Taylor hits it in, just in. Went off the block. Excuse me. Went off the block. You look close, though. Taylor will accept that. And it's 16-14. Hawaii again, trailing by two. Taylor Higgins comes in, and Higgins will serve. Higgins gets it in. Overpass, Borster, that's blocked back. They go outside. 
And hitting it over is Emily Hartong. Nice challenge to the net by Vorsch that time to keep the ball alive. And not only as that, as usual, Mita Uyata puts up a perfect set on a broken play. They spent a lot of time in the middle. That took the pressure off of Hartung on the outside. Serving again is Higgins. The ball dug up by Davis. It's hit over by Pickerel. Ball pushed over that time by Emily Hartung. Advantage, Irvine, Pickerel. That ball comes back after Mendoza was there. Good play by Mendoza. Hitting the ball is Hartung again. It goes to Fleming. Mendoza saves. Hartung is there. Mendoza gets it across. Ball is just punched over that time by Pickerel. They go to Emily Hartung off the tape. And right there is Davis. And then the block. Oh, and the center is low back. Well, there's an overpass in their area. And they can go up and just crank it down. Mita Uyato licking her chops right here as she pounds this one to the floor. So Uyato is a, a, perhaps going up initially on the block, but all of a sudden it really developed for her. The ball was hit into the net after that by Higgins. And it's 17-16. Irvine still holding on by one. Nice run by Taylor Higgins on her jump serve. She and Hartong, the only two jump servers on Hawaii's team. Fleming serving. Longo, Uyato tries to dink shot, doesn't work. At the net, ball is hit over by Hartong. And it is a double hit. Double hit on the outside by Anderson. 17-17. Hawaii is trailed by as many as five. Serving is Lele Pauli. She has come in to serve. So Hawaii poised here. Lele Pauli has been very steady. Played well up at, at uh, UC Davis. Lele Pauli gets it in. Step out. And there's Mance. And Mance with that slow motion roll. Gets it down in front of Lele Pauli. She's got that great off-speed shot, does Ariel Mance. At 6'4". A lot of the 6'4 attackers, they only have Hard and harder. She's got a variety of shots. 18-17. Irvine. Serving is Anderson. Received by Hartong. Ball hit over. Oh, what a hit by Tui Ningo. Tui Ningo crossing down low and then going back to the other side. Tui Ningo in for Adolfo this, this set. And uh, Tui Ningo goes up. She cuts it back across her body. There's not a whole lot of tape on her, so teams aren't sure how to block her. Tied at 18. Artun goes back to serve. She'll jump it into the net. 19-18, Irvine survives again. Hawaii cannot capture the lead. Pickrell will go back to serve now for Irvine. Mance is in the front row along with the lead. And Squires. There's Tuininga again. A battle. Ball comes over. Pickrell gets it across. And Tuininga, once too often, comes back on that step out. And they were waiting for her. Mance was waiting. Lee was waiting. So now it is 20 to 18. Irvine at the second plateau. Let's, Let's check out at, how it works. Let's check out, check out Nikki Taylor right here. As, as she bumps the ball sideways up, puts up a perfect set to Hartong, who does not get the kill there, but it kept the rally alive. One great bump set by Nikki Taylor. That's how it works. That is certainly how it works. 20-18. The ball hit over, and then never really got over the net. Went along the uh, tape, and uh, then, it uh, went off Pickerel. So 20 to 19. Hawaii again cozies up. They trail by the slimmest of margins. And serving will be Uyato. If Hawaii is going to make a move, they have got to make it now. That ball received. And then hit over and down. Great set from Shelly Anderson that time. Put it up perfectly for Ariel Mance. Yeah. 
Nance now has seven kills, no errors. She's hitting 467. And make that eight kills, she's hitting 500. Big night for Ariel Nance. Davis overpass. They battle at the net. The ball is pushed over and down. Well, so Tui Tui saved an overpass right there. She, she went did. up high. But then Tui Ninga came in and was able to get the point. 21-20. Hawaii still in arrears. Serving long goal. Ace. Might have been an ball. What do you think? Could it be? Could be. She took it way up high in her chest. Looked like it was going out. And everybody's going to take the first of their two timeouts. So Nabbit couldn't get to it. And she saw that they hit by Davis. Well, crucial time in this third set. Hawaii leads two sets to none. We are tied at 21. Serving will be Longo. That ball hit over by Squires in the air. Uiato, Longo sets up. And Emily Hartung hits that ball off of Mabut. I'll tell you something, Hartung is doing better than she was doing at the beginning of the year, and that is when she attacks that pipe ball out of the back row, she doesn't just hit straight into the block. She hits the area five or area one, the two areas outside the block in the back row. Uh, this is the first lead for Hawaii in the third set. Longo, that ball straight up in the air that time by Mabut. Nabut gets it across away with the advantage. Long go, and then they go. That ball is out on the hit that time by Forster. Forster had everything in her in her favor. She just missed hit the ball. Tied at 22. Ball is hit by Olival. Comes over to Forster. Forster pounds it down. Literally fisted it to the floor. So it's now 23 22 Hawaii. Coming in to serve is Sarah Mendoza out of Santa Barbara, California. She will serve for Hawaii. She gets it in. Stack set. Ball hit over by Mance. Hawaii will not get it. No, check that. Fleming on the hit. Good swing by Shannon Fleming. You see why she's an all Big West player. 23 23. No more for a block. If you're attacking, they're attacking. Looks pretty good tonight. Seven kills at 385. Lee serving. Hard tongue is blocked. But the, the block goes out, and it's now 24-23. Here comes, looks like a, uh, that must be a double sub. So all kinds of uh, substitutions here as they go through the door. To leave, to leave Uyato in. Serving will be Higgins. Olivao in the back row. And we'll see. For the match, crowd standing. The ball is an ace. The ball went off of Damon in the back row. Could have been an out ball. Uh, that one off the back row is more in. Dave shows he's got to feel good about it. Her freshman Higgins in as she comes through the big time ace, showing what kind of nerves she has. Cool as a cucumber. 25-23, Hawaii sweeps Irvine. This match was not without its exciting moments, and Irvine's competition was at times very threatening to how this match could finally turn out. But Hawaii wins, and they win their 17th match of the year. They are now 17 and 4, 6 and 3 in the conference. Let's go to Howard. All right, Jim, thank you very much. I know that uh, it's always good to be at home. This home trip really came at a good time. You wanted to get a slow start, it didn't happen, and then Allie ripped off nine in a row, and everything just seemed to fall into place. Well, we're struggling a little bit. We're just not in a rhythm, and I'm not quite sure. We changed the lineup a little bit tonight. I wanted to see some other things, and uh, we're still a work in progress, as they say, but uh, we got a tough one tomorrow night in Long Beach State.
coming off that road trip, obviously everybody was just kind of scratching their head, and I know you among them. But the good thing is, it's not like anything was broken and there wasn't one major thing. It's just little tweaks. Yeah, you know, I, I, I don't know if we could change a lineup. Uh, I think we have our best players out there, and uh, we just got to ex execute a little better. We, we didn't execute the, the plays in the fifth set. That's obvious. We lost twice, and uh, I'm not sure the reason, but, you know, I, I think that we like Ashley off the bench. We like... Uh, TK off the bench maybe and so you know there's not gonna be any major changes but we got to just execute a little better TK played well and of course you know coaching genius putting in Higgins for the lasso well I don't know about that I'm just trying to tweak things and uh, you know Ty's been struggling Sarah's been really playing great defense and Taylor can play great right side defense so that's why we did it good to be back on track coach thanks for your time we'll see you back here tomorrow night Jim Chris okay thanks Howard Let's take this break and then we'll be right back at the Stan Sheriff Center. What you were looking at, uh, the Big West standings, Cal State Northridge at 8-1. They are solo in first place now. A half game out by UC Santa Barbara. There are no games, no other games being played in the Big West tonight. Hawaii is still third. They are six and three. Long Beach State, they will face each other tomorrow night. Long Beach State and Hawaii. And then UC Davis at five and four, followed by Polly, Irvine, Fullerton, and Riverside. Well, as, you, uh, as you take a look at the uh, standings, Hawaii is definitely gonna need some help. Uh, even if they beat Santa Barbara and Northridge, it'll only be giving those two teams their second loss. So to give them their third loss, Hawaii's going to need some help from somebody like, uh, I'm, I'm not sure who I like, like it's somebody like Davis or, or Long Beach State. Speaking of Long Beach State, by the way, I watched them practice yesterday, and they are good. Uh, I think Hawaii's going to be, they're going to have their hands full tomorrow night. Long Beach State's very quick. Um, they've got most of their players healthy right now for the most part. And uh, they're going to be a much better team than, uh, than was at the Pyramid. You notice why I beat them 3-0. You notice my precipitous grin. Why? Because you have never, in all the years that we've been doing this, said, you know, I watched the team practice last night, and they are bad. You've never said that. <laughs> it's always, the, no, team, I, the team is always really good. No, and, this but, team, but this time I this believe Long you. This yeah. team is good. And I, they're always good because uh, Brian Gimilero is a – He's a, he's a coach, coach that you look at, and he's competitive. Every time they go after each other, uh, meaning Shoji and Jamalero, they really go after each other. Yeah, they're fun to watch, too. They've they earned a lot of little tricky plays here and there. They, they're a really good passing team, a great defensive team, and uh, they're just entertaining, fun to watch, and, and they, uh, they'll, play, they'll dig a lot of balls, I'll tell you that. They're very agile on the floor. Uh, they've got some great defensive players and some... Some pretty strong offensive players as well. So uh, it should be a great match, I think. Well, I, you know, I agree with you, but it's it's like for the first time ever, Hawaii, you've said something as far as conference standings, Hawaii is going to need some help. <laughs> you know, you, you've never said we've right. never Yeah, said we've that. been doing this for 29 years, yes. and I don't think we've ever had to say that. We've never had I'll tell you something I'm concerned about. Hawaii hits 168 on the night. Yeah, that's not they, good. They normally hit around 275. Yeah. So 168, number 100 points below, not good. Irvine actually out hit them. Irvine hit 178. So Hawaii's got to spruce up that offense a little bit and uh, and do something about uh, about getting other Emily Hartong some more help tonight. Yeah, she got a little bit of help. You know, Vorster and, and Taylor each got seven kills apiece, um, and Hartong got 12. But uh, you know, the key tonight really was Ellie Longo. She had 18 digs and she had 19 serves. Yes. And it helped that Irvine served out or into the net 14 times tonight. That helped Hawaii a lot. That was a lot of Hawaii's offense, actually, in the last set. If you look, <laughs> if you look at the team's personality and their chemistry, there has to be one player that stands out as far as being able to perform no matter what the situation, no matter what the score, and it's Ali Longo, I would think. Yeah. Oh, and because she is there in the position that she is in, Hawaii always has a chance. I, I would agree. I think I think you can put Lump 
Longo, Oyato, and Hartung, all in the same category because they've played the most ball ball. They're the most experienced. Everybody else with them on the floor is much more inexperienced, and therefore uh, sometimes Hawaii struggles when other teams pick on them, serve them, or hit at them, or use them on the block. So, uh, But Hawaii's big three have got to come up and bring their A game every single night. There's one more point here, and that's the crowd. I've always said that this is the greatest crowd uh, at the University of Hawaii. You could play at 3 o'clock in the morning, they, they'd show up. Yeah. Now, after this valley occurred in the middle of this season where they lost two in a row, where they uh, were 0 for a road trip, yep. they still showed up. I mean, they, they were did. here. They're not front runners. You know, there's that current thing, you're, you're a spectator or you're a fan. These are fans. These are fans and knowledgeable fans. And so, okay, they had a little trouble. Let's go and see if we, we can fix it. Yeah. You know, I really like that attitude of, of the crowd tonight. At 4,500, enthusiastic. Yes. As usual. Yes, as usual. Uh, stay tuned, everybody, now for the post game. Thanks for watching. Hawaii's been successful now 17 times this season. Tomorrow, Brian Jumalaro and Long Beach State. Stay tuned now for the post game report.